All right, going to do a real quick video here, just showing the hypocrisy of this young man here. Um, I asked for prayer for him. Apparently, uh, he's gone beyond that, and he's uh, now joining the ranks of Pale Eddie and all the others that were former Denlinger watchers, and now they just spend all their time making video after video after video exposing me. Um, very pathetic to go from a guy that was making videos on the Bible and whatever else, and now he's just going to make videos to try and tear down my ministry. Never happened to me before, you know, yeah. But uh, just play this little clip here. He uh, is talking about the thing of interracial marriage, what he's doing. I'm not even going to play his video because he's going through personal emails, showing personal emails going on, bringing up personal things, dragging myself through the mud and others as well. Um, and I'm not even going to get into the names and, and things. That's what these people do. They'll take private correspondence and then they bring it out. They betray you. They stab you in the back. They'll say, oh, you know, this is yeah, just between you and me. And then they bring out a bunch of stuff and whatever else. I dealt in my live stream I did about Tim and this Jake Mays guy. I uh, uh, I, I left any kind of personal correspondence. When it, I'm not going to be showing that stuff. But these guys, they'll take personal details and then they bring it out and they just, whatever. It's character assassination is all that this stuff is. But uh, I'll just play a little bit here of he's showing my thing here in my video. Let's play this. Little thing, I don't know if I've ever even said this before, but uh, I had numerous interracial relationships. Uh, and I don't mean fornication, but dating interracial, interracially, Spanish girls. Um, before I met my wife. And you say, oh, you were involved in your racial relationships? Yeah. You know why? Because I was a sex pervert. That's why. And there you go. He's a, he's a man to be a sex pervert. Uh, uh, hold on there, Tim. You just lied. I was a sex pervert in the past before I got saved. He's admitting to being, being is present tense. That's slander. You're lying about a preacher. I talked about my past life and you make it into present tense. You're a liar. For going after Spanish women by well by and by his own admission now, he says that it's okay if they're of a, if they're of Japheth. Okay. Now I tried to correct this child, all right? Tried to explain to him that there are different types of what would fall under Spanish women in Central America. I've been to Costa Rica twice, been to Honduras once. Um, I think the one first time in Honduras or in Costa Rica was about two weeks, I think. Um, next time to Costa Rica was about three weeks. Uh, third time when I went to Honduras was three weeks. So, you know, it's not that I lived there for years or anything, but I know I've been down there. My family had dealings with people from Central America, you know, missionaries and families that would come up and whatever else. I was raised around a lot of Spanish type of culture. Um, being German, yes, we were German, our family, but we knew Spanish people from our church that we that I was raised in. Okay, um, I know the difference. Okay, let me just show you the, the difference here really quickly. This guy was the president, Enrique Peña Nieto. Okay, uh, he was the president of Mexico. Um, he's a white man. He's of Spain. All right, you go down to Honduras or to Costa Rica, and you will see the difference between people that are descendants of Spain and people that are descendants of Shem. Let me show you. This is a descendant of Shem. You have this Mexican girl here. Notice the higher cheekbones. They look more Indian, like a Native American. They have the darker skin. These are the girls I went after. All right, this I wanted the look of the darker skin, darker hair. Again, Tim just you know, apparently didn't listen to what I wrote in his in the email there. He'll probably have to bring this out, just bring out other personal details of my past as a lost man, whatever that's about. But um, can you see the difference? Shemitic, Japheth, look at his wife. Okay, they're from Spain, but they're both in Mexico. And this isn't just, well, that's Mexico. It's anywhere down through Central America, Mexico going down Central Central America, even into South America. I mean, I was I went with the one girl that I was dating, um, and she was uh, 
we went to her, her college that she was going to in San Jose, Costa Rica. And there was a girl sitting in her class that had blonde hair and blue eyes. And I said, oh, I said, she American? She said, no, she's not American. She's from, you know, descended from Spain. Huh? She said, oh, yeah, that's they're, they're down here like that, you know. Sure. Um, being, quote, unquote, Hispanic, which is a modern term, Hispanic does not mean that you're all of Shemitic ancestry or whatever. Again, you go to the Dominican Republic, which is a Spanish-speaking country, and you have Haiti right next to it. There's a lot of people that are mixed up, you know, Hispanic, like, uh, excuse me, the uh, Mexican types, the Shemitic people that are actually, you know, mixed up with Hamitic. So you'll get, you know, people that are kind of half black, half, you know, Indian looking. Yeah, I've known them as well. Um, and there's even different dialects within the Spanish language. Some will say the two L's as a Y, others say it as a J. There's, I mean, I, I'm not an expert on Spanish culture or whatever, but there's a difference between Spain, where when they sent the conquistadors down to Central and South America and things, and they took over a lot of that, there's descendants of them. People that go back to Spain, they're white, right? This relationship that was going on that I was giving my advice on and whatever else, I wasn't let in on all the details, all right? Uh, I was just told Honduran and German ancestry and things there with the girl that was involved. And, you know, and, and stuff doesn't even need to be brought up. This is personal information that this little muckraking scumbag is coming out with. But I got a real interesting thing here for Tim, for you, Tim. Um, you might want to look into your ancestry. Let's, uh, let's look at this. Conan History. Okay, that's his last name. Conan History, Family Crest and Coats of Arms. Oh, you shouldn't bring out my last name or something. If you want to try to pull that, be a man, okay? All right, your name's been brought out by other people and whatever else. You know, be a man. You're supposed to be in ministry, be a real man. Last name, whatever. Gaelic, otherwise known as Early Modern Irish, was used in Ireland from around the year 1200 until the 18th century. It is from this language that we found the first references to the name Conan as O. Con, however you say that, possibly meaning fair-headed hound. The family descends from Cusanian, who was killed in 991. Another reference claims that the surname could have been derived from Mac Con Cianain, and in this case it was derived from the Irish Con, a man's personal name, Gan, which means with plus N, which means, I like this, a lie collect collectively meaning Con the speaker of truth. Conan, conning the speaker of truth. Nothing to it. Or early origins of the Conan family. Okay, and I know what little Tim's going to do. He's going to say this is uh, endless genealogies or something. No, that's in reference to Jews trying to trace their lineage back to King David and the Messianic line and everything. That's what's being rebuked there in the New Testament. This is an endless genealogy. And he's claiming that another brother was going to have an interracial marriage and, and you know and, and he, so he's getting into genealogy stuff so if you want to get into genealogy stuff for him and for yourself let's look at the foundation of your name the surname Conan was first found in Galway um, part of the province of Connacht uh, located on the west coast of the island and Roscommon where they claimed descent from the Harriman Kings get back to that in a minute from the Uwe Bruin and more specifically they were derived from Dermot um, brother of Marias, the 29th king of Connacht, who was alive in the 9th century. They claimed ascendancy from the O'Connors, hence the similarity of the coat of arms, which both depict a tree at the center point. Right there you go. Ancient arms of Conan, the Conan, Conan family. But if you click on the Harriman kings, let's look at this. According to Irish tradition, the ancient kings of Ireland were the descendants of King Miliasus of Spain. Do you mean to tell me that uh, old Tim here is ripping on a brother for wanting to have a relationship with uh, somebody of, you know, descended from Spain? A white European that goes through Spain down to Central America? And that's an interracial marriage? Uh, well, I hate to tell you there, Tim, but uh, your name goes back to the 
kings of Ireland, King Miliusus of Spain. Hmm. After they, after if they discovered Ireland, only to be murdered by the resident Tuatha de Na, de Danan, his son Lagade brought his body home to Spain. So he didn't even want to be buried there. But um, you know, Spain, they're Spaniards that went up into Ireland. You say, oh, 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 oh this is terrible. Well, it's not really that bad if you just believe the Bible. Japheth, the Isles of the Gentiles. Let me show you some more proof on that. Okay. Distribution of Y-DNA haplogroups in Europe. In other words, uh, older European types of people and whatever. Down in here is Spain. R1B. Uh-oh. Up here in Scotland and, and Ireland and things up in here. Um, it's the same people. Hmm. Go back to 2000 BC. All right. Again, 12A, 1A, and there you have the 12 group up there. R1B group down here, R1B, R1B up there in the British Isles and things. Huh. Also up into Germany and the Germanic lands and whatever else. They're traveling. Japheth is a nomadic people. Here you have uh, 500 AD. Again, Teutonic settlements all through Spain, all up into Germany, up into the British, what would later become England, essentially, moving up into there, 500 AD. Again, here you have 695. By 695, look where they're going. Again, Teutonic states. See the pink? West Gothic, right there. Um, again, you have the Visigoths, the Gothic people switched into Visigoth and Ostrogoth. Visigoth meant Western Goths. Ostrogoth meant Eastern Goths. Okay, so you have the a lot of the Western Gothic there uh, empire, and look where it's going. Again, these people, the Teutonic States, heading up into there. This is 695. Maybe I'll just, you know, shut your mouth a little bit there. Oh, it's, you know, if you're from Spain, you're a different race. Oh, well, then you're a different race, Tim. Okay. Um, the Celts named, and you can read this, Celtoid by the Greeks were a cultural group that occupied much of Europe north of the Alps. The proto-Celtic Urnfield culture was located in Central Europe until the 8th century B.C. I don't like the B.C.E. thing. Before Christ, not before the Common Era. When the first recognizably Celtic Hallstatt culture began to disseminate from a heartland in southern Germany, and you know you can get into the whole thing there, but it just talks about how that uh, um, here we have the Celts dispersed widely, quickly colonizing both France and the British Isles, and establishing zones of settlement in Spain. Spain. White Europeans moving into Spain. The same groups up here moving down into there. <laughs> uh, yeah, but somehow people from Spain are a different race. No, they're not. No, they're not. And you have people in Central America that are of descent from Spain. And another big thing that Tim made a, a big deal about with me was where does the Bible say European? It doesn't. But let's look up European. It's in Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Webster's 1828 Dictionary is not the Bible. I get that. Don't try to be a little child and say, well, that's not, you know, I understand. All right, it's in there. But can't use European, but Tim over and over and over again says Hispanic. Let's look up Hispanic in the 1828 Dictionary. Uh, it's not there. Hispanic is a modern word. Huh, how about that? Hmm, yeah, imagine that. So, uh, yeah. Uh, so what was I speaking against? Okay, when I came out with my video on the interracial marriage thing, let's just go to Google, do a Google search here. Interracial marriage. Okay, enter. Images. There you go. Down through. 
white and black. Obviously very, very much different. Okay. Uh, and again, this whole thing goes back to this young man here being offended because I came out against rock music. And, you know, and what's he doing? He's going and he's digging up personal messages. He's showing emails back in here, you know, showing private correspondence. And he has another video now. I guess it's just his new thing now. He's going to be another, you know, join the, the crew and whatever else. And you say, well, no, come on, he's not joining these people. Then what about this? Video message to Tim Conan and Jake. Right there again. You know, you're going to get mad at me for bringing out your last name. Well, there, get mad at him too. You're one of your new buddies here. Tim came out with a video, you know, joking about this Australian devil here. Um, this guy has been, he's, he's stolen videos off of my Patreon account. He's just come out, just sowed so much discord and, and just called me a liar, called me all kinds of things. Just a wicked devil. But you get down through here. And, and, oh, look right there. Last day's maze. Thanks, Jason. May the Lord bless you. And he's basically saying, by the way, if you watch the video, he's saying, since you've left a Denlinger cult, now we can fellowship. And this little buddy down here, uh, last day's maze with his little rock and roll is good for you, you know, study, basically. Um, thanks, Jason. May the Lord bless you. You see? If they were of us, they would no doubt have continued with us. Okay, you don't have to agree with me on everything. You get tired of watching my videos or something, go on, do your own thing. But when you start to develop your own little ministry, bringing out videos, just critiquing every little thing I do and just, just looking through, and, oh, 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 got you there, got you there, got you there. You've lost it. So, again, just to clear up, because I, I, I have to, that's the only reason I did this video. I needed to clarify what I was talking about, okay? When I was in Honduras and Costa Rica, I didn't go after women that looked like this. I didn't go after them. Why? Because there was plenty around where I grew up, okay? There's pl plenty of white women around in America. I went down there looking for this. That's what I went for. I went looking for that type of a look, the Shemitic type of look of a Spanish woman. I, you know, I don't even know, I don't think I have any pictures because I destroyed them when I got married, but some of the pictures of the girls that I dated and whatever else when I was with them. Um, one named Paola, the other one named Walda. There, I even give it their names, okay? And they were Shemitic. I liked them for their darker skin. That's why I said it was a sex perversion thing. But had I met a girl like that, down there, a, a, a woman of Spain, there would have been no sin at all. And again, I was I was not let into all this stuff and, and whatever. And and so I got cornered into this thing and then I come out and I said, well, you know, I'm looking at things and at first I'm not really sure or whatever. And I finally I, I see the proof. Oh, okay, well, she's descended from Spain. Well, then there's no sin. It's not interracial. But, you know. The reason this, this child here brings this up is because his video games and his rock music got kicked. And his little buddy got kicked as well. So, you know, uh, I do thank you, Tim, for, for bringing this out just so I could clarify what I meant. Um, I wasn't clear. And for that, I do apologize. I do apologize that I did not explain what these women were of. I just said Spanish. That was wrong. I shouldn't have done that because... This is a white European from Spain. This is a Shemitic person from the Americas. It's that simple. But if you want to say that, you know, somebody from Spain is, is somehow wrong and whatever, that's, that's terrible. Well, uh, you're from Spain. If you go back far enough there, Conan, uh, quit being a con man. Okay? That's going to be it. Um, you know, we, we have other stuff to fight, right? Right now, the body of Christ has some real important things to fight. If you're saved him, um, I recommend you go back to trying to study the Bible and just leave the leave the constant critiquing and attacking of me to other people and whatever else. Hey, let, let God straighten me out, right? I think the Lord's capable of that. 